Hello Virgo viewers. I'm going to be looking into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you. I um I've been getting that you know your ex is gonna be coming back around, but by then you're gonna be with somebody new that you've either met or you're just meeting. And this is a common energy I've been channeling for a lot of zodiacs, actually, so it's not surprising. But let's see what the cards have to say. Let's see what's going on. I'm also doing a raffle. Um, so if you donate a dollar, you get a free raffle ticket. And at, um, on the 22nd, I'm going to be choosing somebody for a in-depth, free in-depth video reading based on the raffle. So you can donate for PayPal, Cash App, Facebook Pay. My information is below. I also do paid private readings in my email, um, and prices are below. All right, so what's going on with your person? What's going on with your love story right now? What is going on? I think this one wants to come out too. Codependency and addiction. All right, let's see what's happening. Yeah, codependency, addiction. Got to choose a path. Can you see that? Sex, seduction, end of a pattern, breakthrough, freedom, shyness, fear of rejection, open and honest communication. Somebody may be getting a message from somebody or sending a message to someone. I'll look into what's going on with that. Overthinking, overanalyzing, self-sabotage, confusion and uncertainty. Pride and stubbornness, apology, regret, pride and stubbornness. Okay. So you wanting to apologize? Okay, for some of you, it's you wanting to apologize. For a lot of people, it's your person wanting to apologize, but they're overthinking it. They're wanting to send this message. Um, they're wanting to come through. They're just trying to figure out what to say to you. Let me move these over a little bit so the glare doesn't affect you guys. There we go. I keep looking at this and I'm like, I think I know what this story is. Let me pull some cards to clarify. Her last day in the night. Unexpected ending, surprise changes, sudden shifts. Let me put that right there. Mm, where can I put that? Put it down here for now. Whoop. Study, learning, education. Okay, yeah, so it's saying what I thought it was saying. Jealousy, envy, punishment, changing course. Okay. So basically this person has changed or they think they've changed and they want to come back around with an apology. This is like a shift. This could be someone who's gone to counseling or somebody who's making changes. Um, and it's going to be up to you to use, you know, your best discernment, like to decide has this person really changed? Like is what they did to me too bad for you know me, me to ever go back to them? Like if somebody hit you, I would never go back to them personally. I wouldn't, I would just not give them a chance after that. But if this is like a good person who maybe just made some mistakes um, and they're they're getting help for it now, you know, then, then you you know what your story is. For some of you, it's, it's going to go different ways. For some of you, I would not give this person another chance. For others, you know, maybe it is worth it again. But they think they've changed. I know that, that they, I don't know if they've actually done the work or not. Let me ask the pendulum. But they, it's like study, learning, education. Like they're they're wanting to change. They're wanting to be better. They're wanting to change course here. Maybe they were jealous and kind of toxic before, and they're wanting to um, to be a better person. Let me see. Okay, have the majority of them actually changed? I'm getting a maybe. So it's like they've changed certain things, but they still have a lot to work on. And they're kind of like rushing it too because they want to win you back and they're scared that you're going to just completely be done with them at a certain point. Um, let's see. And it kind of lines up with the, with the reading I got for you before because I got that, you know, you had this ex coming back around. But by that time, you're probably going to be with somebody new, you know, like you're either you've just met someone or you're going to be meeting somebody. And again, this is a collective energy I keep getting for a lot of the zodiacs that I channel. And so when this ex comes back around with an apology, it's like, you might not want it again. You know what I mean? It's like, but I, I get counseling really strongly or like they're going to come, they have something to show you like, oh, look, I did this or 
I've been going I've been going to counseling or I've been going to communication classes or I want to do couples therapy or I quit drinking or um you know I've been working on myself or I've been going to the gym it's like they're trying to they're trying to find proof right now is the energy that I'm getting. They're trying to find proof that they've changed and they're going to bring that proof back to you. Like, oh, look, I completed this much counseling or, oh, look, I just joined the gym a couple months ago and I've been working on myself. You know, like they're trying to find like evidence to show you that they've changed. But again, the evidence only goes so far. I mean, they are trying. I really do feel like they're trying. But, but again, you have to decide like, is this person just a toxic person or is this somebody who's a good person who just made a couple mistakes that are forgivable? Like to me, a physical abuse is not forgivable to me personally. That's not something I would ever, I don't care how much counseling they go through. I would not take them back after that. But again, it's, it's up to you. This is just the energy I'm getting. Um, you know, that they're choosing a path. It's like they had this like codependency and it maybe addiction to something. They might've been addicted to something and they had this fear of commitment um, could be sex addiction too, or just, you know, I see this also as just like being seduced by worldly things or seduced by, by their addiction or seduced by some kind of energy or something. And they're trying to end that pattern or cycle and they're trying to have this breakthrough and they're wanting to come forward with this, you know, open, honest communication with, a, with a message. They want to, they want clarity. They want to talk to you. They want to apologize to you. But here we have somebody who's like, they're afraid. They're shy. They're afraid of rejection because they know that they have been toxic in the past. So they know what they've done in the past. And so it's like they're wanting to come forward, but they're, they don't know if they can. They don't know if they have that other chance. You know, they want to be open and honest with you. They want to say the right thing. And so they're really, they're really overthinking it right now. They're really overanalyzing, um, kind of self-sabotaging almost. They're like really in their head about what to say. Could be somebody who like writes out messages and they delete them because they're like, that's not good enough. Like I need to show this person more proof or I need to, you know, they're, they're, they're really in their head about it, but they do want to be open and honest. Um, there's just a lot of confusion and uncertainty here. I feel like this is your confusion and uncertainty too when you get this message because you might kind of have thought well okay this is over and then it's like it just comes back and you're like do I trust this again like do I want this again and unfortunately you know like I said I wish I could say like yes or no but I think it's it's going to be different for each one of you you're going to have to use your intuition you need to be honest about the red flags though like if this is like again if this is somebody that hits you somebody that was abusive with you I would not give this another chance like if this is somebody who maybe just like kind of ghosted you or like they were you guys were talking and maybe they like got scared it's like okay that's not good but it's it's forgivable you know what I mean but when they put hands on you that's like a whole different thing or when they show how toxic they are it's like that's like a whole nother story you know what I mean um ghosting is toxic too don't get me wrong but it's not like it's not the same as physical abuse in my opinion um hmm all right, so yeah, they're wanting to come through. They're thinking about it, and but they're again, they're afraid of rejection, so they're really thinking about how to message you. But again, there's a lot of confusion. You might feel this confusion and uncertainty too, like I said, because you're like, can I trust this? And again, you gotta you gotta go inward and use your own intuition. No psychic can tell you whether to trust this or not. You need to be honest with yourself about the red flags. Don't just romanticize it. Like really, you need to be honest with yourself about what it was like when you guys were together, when you guys were talking. Like those little things they said or little things they did that just kind of stuck with you and maybe you ignore those red flags, but your intuition was screaming like, hey, that didn't feel right. Like don't tell yourself that um, like a lot of men and women too, and a lot of women and, and men too, you know, kind of tell, tell themselves like, oh, I was being dramatic. I shouldn't have been upset about that. But it's like, that's like that a lot of times that's your intuition telling you like, hey, that doesn't sit right with me. So you need to listen to that. You know, you need to listen to what feels right for you intuitively. Um so there will be some confusion when this when this message comes in. But they're wanting to. Again, I don't know if they'll message or not because they're wanting to. I don't know if they will. It's up to them. They're still, you know, this is just the energy. But and they are overthinking it. Like I said, they're kind of self-sabotaging because it's like they're afraid of rejection. So they, they don't know what to say. They know that they want to message. The desire is there. The question is, are they going to? They do want to apologize. They do want to show you regret for their... Um, you know, their ego, their pride, their stubbornness, like this, this, they're tired of this energy, this silence, this lack of communication, whatever this kind of energy is. It's like, they want more than that. They want to talk to you. They want to get through this, this energy and have some kind of clarity with you. 
Let me get some more cards on this to clarify. Publicity, social media, possibly stalking you. Pause, reflection, rest. Yeah. Toxicity, red flags, hidden motives. So for some of you, this really is still toxic, you know? Sense control issues for some people, like that maybe that your person was controlling and jealous. Yeah, third party distraction. It could be that you're already dating somebody new, that somebody new is coming in and they feel it and they're watching it and they're jealous. Because I sense jealousy a lot in this reading, so I don't know if they were just jealous of other people when you guys were together or what the situation is or you were jealous. I don't know. I just feel jealousy. Submissive, weak-willed. Hmm. Let me clarify. Is this correct what I'm feeling for this? Okay, for a lot of you, for some of you, you're going to know what your story is. For some of you, either you thought they were a karmic partner or they thought you were a karmic partner. No, sorry. You thought they were your twin flame or vice versa. They thought you were their twin flame or both or a soulmate. And it turns out this is actually just a karmic lesson. And that's why they're so submissive to this connection or maybe, you know, vice versa, why you've been so submissive to this connection. And the truth is that this isn't, they thought or you thought this was like a potential life partner and it's actually a karmic is what I'm feeling. It could be vice versa. It could be the new person you think is the karmic and they're actually the life partner. Hmm. I don't know. There's some weird energy going on here where someone's not who you think they are. And you're realizing it, though. I think this is something that you'd be conscious of. You'd be like, you know what? This person treating me like crap. Like, this person, like, I don't think my life partner is somebody that treats me like crap. You know, like, eh, this doesn't feel right after all. Maybe it was just familiarity. Like, you would know. You know what I mean? If it's your life partner, it's going to feel, I mean, even if there's things that you have to get through together, it's not going to feel toxic and, and negative. And they're not going to, you're going to feel like yourself with them. You're going to feel understood by them. You're going to feel loved and whole with them. You know what I mean? In ways that you maybe didn't with this other person. So let's see the actual life partner. Tell me about the actual life partner. Tell me about his or her personality, what, like when they're coming in, just any details, sense of belonging, home, safe space. So again, your real life partner, whoever it is, whether it's the old person or the new person, again, stories could be interchanged here. You'll know what your story is. Um, but you're going to feel at home with them. Like you're going to feel like you, like you belong with them. Like you're going to feel this like safe space kind of energy with them where it's like you listen to your body, you know, your, your body's intuition. Like you're not going to feel like you have to be on edge or like you have to be scared of them or you have to, you know, walk on eggshells and talk to them a certain way. Like you guys are just going to be in sync. Like you're just going to resonate with each other, you know? And if there's things to work through, you'll be working through them together instead of having to work on them alone by yourself fighting for this person that's not really fully there. Um, yeah. Sadness. Yeah, the ex caused a lot of pain, you know? It's not... the. Being with someone that that loves, like, their life partner, it shouldn't hurt, you know what I mean? Like, there might be disagreements once in a while where you guys kind of hurt each other's feelings, but it shouldn't just be all pain. It shouldn't just be you longing for them and you not being able to reach them, you know what I mean? Like, this, this other person would put you first and make an effort to have you in their life. They would show you that they want you. Whereas with this ex, it's kind of like they just realize that they're losing you, and so they're wanting to come forward with this apology and regret because they know they can kind of maybe energetically sense or maybe they're watching your your social media and they can tell you're moving on um or whatever the case might be they just they whatever it is they feel that you're moving on and so yeah they're wanting to come forward with this apology and regret and they're wanting to show you that they've changed and that they've done this and that but it's like you know can they still do that is that are you still are you still going to want to give that a chance i don't know okay new person new person Vulnerability, receptivity, you know, someone that's open with you, somebody that's that's vulnerable with you, taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other. That's funny because I got these two cards for um, Taurus too, so I guess all you you earth signs are kind of in this energy right now. Anger, miscommunication, reconciliation. Yeah, so we have the X popping back up, like wanting to reconcile. For some of you, I guess it was miscommunication, but again, still, 
you gotta eat this is like a really with this spread I'm mostly getting use your own intuition because there's two people I don't know if the the second one has come in not or, or, yet or not but one of them is the karmic one of them is the life partner and so you have to use your intuition to decide which one is just familiar and which one is you know your actual true love like which person and again there could be miscommunication with anybody you know like there could be um it's not saying everything's going to be perfect when you meet your life partner like it might not be but you should still feel safe with them you should still feel like that they should be your safe space you should still feel at home with them you should feel like you can trust them you should be able to um, be open with them, to communicate with them, to be completely vulnerable with them and, and feel like you're not just being taken for granted, you know, have that vulnerability reciprocated. Um, so you really, this is like one of those situations and you guys, maybe you guys are like developing your intuition too because I just get a strong sense with this group, like you need to meditate, you need to meditate, you need to meditate, you need to go inward. You need to not even trust me for answers. You need to trust yourself for these answers and be really honest with yourself about who's the karmic and who's the life partner. Yeah, choosing their words, slowly planning their approach. They're wanting to come in loyal, stable. They're wanting to make these promises to you. But again, you got to use your intuition to decide if it's worth it. Okay, can I see the new person though? Can I see just a couple things on the new person? It's more old person because the old person keeps popping through. This old person was jealous. I keep getting jealousy really strongly here. I think the old, yeah, like I said, the new person is just going to be more courageous. More, they're going to like claim you more than this other person did. I mean, I feel like this, I feel like your ex is going to come through with this like kind of masculine, confident energy, but it's almost like they're just, they're doing it because they know they're losing you. You know what I mean? And it's like, and they have made changes, but I don't know. It's like, why did they take so long, you know? All right, thank you guys for watching. If this resonates, go ahead and subscribe. And also my email and my contact info is below.